what was the very first action job that you remember that you think was a success? The one I remember most that I, I have fond memories of is, is The Hunt for Gollum, mm -hmm. which was a Lord of the Rings fan film, um, which was the first of its kind, at mm -hmm. least the level that it achieved. And this fan film by uh, Chris Bouchard, who I think wrote it as well, or might have co-wrote it, um, he was directing. And because it was, it was one of the first ones to kind of make a fan film about Lord of the Rings, uh, he got quite a lot of uh, help, like mm -hmm. a lot of people who who were doing fairly well in their careers, wanted to help. So everyone was offering freebies and, you know, we had great prosthetics, we had great mm. art department. Chris was from a VFX background, so he did a lot of the VFX, which turned out really well in the, in the movie. We were the flight team. Ruth and uh, Rachel were the flight coordinators. But I forget if they got the job first and brought us in. But anyway, I think we all kind of, because it, it went out around the the circles, I think we all heard about it around the same time. Yeah. Uh, and I got cast as one of the, the kind of lead orcs. So I actually had a speaking role as an orc as yeah. well. So me and a guy called Josh, um, we had our head cast. It was just such a fun experience. Like we, because yeah. we weren't, I mean, we weren't being paid for it, but I think because of that, you kind of just put everything and it was something we wanted to do and we loved doing. Yeah. So we put loads of time in just creating concepts for the fights and I remember we did a whole session with just me and Josh doing arrow hits and like playing different ways of taking arrow hits and mm. then we created the fight scenes um, and this fight, this the main fight basically with, with uh, Aragorn was the main character and and we came in waves so I we played the first wave and then we'd swap costumes and then we'd play the second wave and they'd have a bunch of dead bodies on the floor as the yeah. first wave so we actually got to do lots yeah and then yeah. there was another fight with a different character and we we got to be in that one as well so we had lots of different costumes and lots of head makeup and stuff um, but my main character I had to have my my head cast so I had a full prosthetic mm. um, that was a really fun experience is it fun though? Because I've heard like when, when you have such prosthetics, like it takes so much time to actually apply them every day. Like, yeah, it did. Yeah. And but we we actually because we shot it in Epping Forest, and they got permission for us to camp out. Mm -hmm. So we all took this is very low budget filmmaking, mm -hmm. but we all took tents along. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and camped out in Epping Forest. Nice. And then we get up at like six in the morning. And me and the, the main orcs would just sit in the in this gazebo and, and have our mm -hmm. faces and arms painted. I think it was maybe about three hours for the whole thing. Oh. So yeah, it was an early morning, yeah. but we were camping anyway, so it's not like yeah, you're gonna yeah, yeah. lie in. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was such a great team and such a yeah. Can you watch it somewhere? Is yeah, it's, it's online, YouTube? so they can't sell it. So mm -hmm. it, it's online on YouTube. Um, yeah. The Hunt for Gollum. Yeah. Uh, I think it's had like a ridiculous number of views it's in the millions, mm. maybe even double figure millions. Mm. But you were like, a, uh, that one you were more like a stand performer, right? Than I stand was both, because I was, as opposed to... Uh, a stand coordinator. Yeah, no, I, I didn't, I mean we helped out, we all kind of pitched in with mm -hmm. choreography, but, but uh, Ruth and Rachel were the fight coordinators. Yeah. And, and yeah, I was actor, stunt performer. 